You need to go. What a way to start. Dude! He's just gonna sit in the passenger seat. He's gonna take some shots. He's gonna... <laughs> Hey y'all, it's Butters. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day full of positivity and happiness as always. <laughs> and for today's video, I am so excited because in my last video, I asked you guys, would y'all be interested in watching a Warzone solo spectating video from me? And you all said yes. And I'm so excited because I really wanted to do it. Basically, all I'm going to be doing today is hopping into Warzone solos. I want to be spectating and providing my input. I feel like today's going to be full of a lot of learning and a lot of laughing. <laughs> Hey, post-production butters here. I wanted to clarify what I mean by laughing. I am not here to laugh at the skill level of these players. There's plenty of room in the gaming world for casual players and pro players. I meant laugh at the absolute tomfoolery and funny moments that happen in Warzone. I am here to cheer on all of the players and I hope everyone has fun, no matter their playstyle. Positivity. But before we jump into the video, a quick word from our sponsor. Hello friends, before we jump into the video, I'd like to give a quick shout out to our sponsor for today, HelloFresh. I have personally been using HelloFresh since May of last year, and it has genuinely changed my life for the better. HelloFresh is a delivery meal kit service that delivers fantastic, ready-to-cook meals right to your door. I pick the recipes for each week here. There's plenty to pick from. You can pick uh, veggie meals, uh, calorie smart meals, desserts, snacks. I always pick up a quick breakfast. HelloFresh then sends a big box like this to your door. It says hello on it. How cute. The meals come packaged in these bags with the exact amount of ingredients that you need. Each meal comes with an easy to read recipe as well. By the way, this packaging is so nice. It's all recyclable material or made from recycled content. Very eco-friendly, that's for sure. And then you cook. It normally takes me about 30 minutes per meal. If I may, I'd like to go ahead and showcase a couple of meals that I've made in the past year. Um, I always take pictures and send it to my mom because I'm like, look, I can cook now. Look, mom, are you proud? <laughs> I have made so many fantastic meals of a wide variety. I've made some pork dishes, which I'm not really a big pork person. I made traditional ramen for the first time. I make all sorts of pastas. I cook fish now. I can cook fish. Don't even get me started on the chowder. That was so good. Even sometimes my cat wants my meals. <laughs> HelloFresh is delicious, helps me save time, and has also taught me just how to cook. Feel free to use my link or go to HelloFresh.com and use code POG-NOISYB16 for up to 16 free meals plus three surprise gifts across six HelloFresh boxes plus free shipping. Gifts include free appetizers, free desserts, and free premium recipes. Dude, the cookies the cookies. And thank you so much HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate it. I gotta say, I just ate some tacos from HelloFresh. They were delicious. I have my coffee here. I accidentally filled up too much if you can see. What's also my little Vanguard mug. Can y'all see that? Focus on the Vanguard. Thank you. Yes, very good. Um, let's hop in. School is in session. I'm also gonna put my glasses on to, to fit the mood because we're learning and observing and uh, I don't, I don't know. Let's just hop in. I might also need my headset too, huh? Here we are back on some Warzone. So I guess for today's video, there's no class that we're going through. We're just hopping right into Vanguard Royale solos. Wow, this is going to be so much fun. I'm really excited. Can you tell? So what are we going to be looking for in today's video? I think I really just want to see, I want to see some funny moments. I also want to see some really cracked out players who are good at solos on this map in particular, because I'm not super familiar with playing it as a solo. I'm hoping to see some good rotations, hoping to see some really good gunfights. I want to see what the gun meta is. Maybe learn some jump spots from some people. I have my notebook here. I'm ready to take notes. Okay, so I think I just go ahead and dive down, fight my goo, and then dive down again in an area where there's really good players, and then hopefully end up spectating somebody. I did it. I shouldn't have won that. <laughs> what are you scared of? I have a top break. <laughs> and so begins the spectating. He is doing a recon. This was not a very good place to, oh, there seems to be somebody coming up. Okay, let's see what happens here. He's got a gas can. He's got a gas can, dude. Dude, you need to go. What a way to start. Dude. He's just gonna sit in the passenger seat. He's gonna take some shots. He's gonna... <laughs> I'm so glad I landed here. To be honest, I thought, man, I probably shouldn't land on the recon guy, but I'm so glad I did. <laughs> that was incredible. There seems to be another one. Why are there so many people here on the recon? Oh my, God. dude, I, I, okay, you need to probably drive out. Okay, this guy's gonna go ahead and drive out. He just wants to do his recon, poor thing. Look at that ghillie suit just peeking through the back. 
Man, people are pushing this recon like there is no tomorrow. So what's the plan here? I guess he's just he's just out. He's just gonna leave. Okay. I think he might be a little bit of a timid player. I think he's trying to uh, do a bunch of recons to find out where the final zone is and kind of play um, a more passive play style, I suppose. Um, so, okay, totally up to you. I think it's gonna be something really fun spectating Warzone solos because there's all kinds of players. There's really passive players. There's really aggressive players. There's snipers. There's people who prefer ARs, SMGs, LMGs, rocket launchers. I may or may not be that person. That was sarcasm, by the way, kind of, sorta. Whoa. He says nobody can have his car anymore. He's gonna light it on fire. I don't even know if it's gonna destroy it, but okay, let it be. Whisper words of wisdom, if you know what I mean. Actually, that's a decently smart play to make sure that nobody else can get the car. I won't knock it. He's here at a buy station. What is he gonna buy? Let's see what he's got here. Um, he got a self-res. Okay, I think that self reses are really important in solos. He seems to have also gotten a precision airstrike. I wonder if he'll end up going back to the recon. Hmm. Seems like this individual is going to probably camp out this entire game. <laughs> He blew me a kiss. How nice. <laughs> oh, another. Oh, you so kind. What a flirtatious little individual. He's going to be camping the bye pretty much the entire game. I, I got it the first time, man. Third time's a charm. I get it. Whoa. He's calling me number one. What did I do? <laughs> what guns are you going to be running? Let's see. Okay. Tommy gun and just a melee. Just a knife. Okay. Stim C4. C4. Hmm. This might be a really silly question, but when was C4 invented? I think I would like to look that up. I asked this because we're playing uh, Vanguard solo, so I'm wondering when C4 was even invented. It was developed by the British during World War II and redeveloped as a Composition C when introduced to the US military. Hmm. And then it was replaced by Composition C2 and then C3, and then now here we are at C4. Interest, I, I learned something new today. I don't know if you guys are interested in that, but I am. Well, I literally am just sitting here looking up C4. <laughs> Thank you. You could do it. You could do it. Okay. So here's something to keep in mind. Some rocks you can't mantle over. There you go. Plain. He has found a bush. What is with him blowing kisses all the time? What is going on? He's really putting on a show here. I'm not too sure what's going on, but... Seems like a fire sale has just started. Will he leave the bush to hit the fire sale? Let's see what he does next. <laughs> Honestly, he probably won't because he already has a self and he has a precision. So who knows? I am literally just sitting here. I, I, why is he calling me number one? Why? I didn't get a chance to look at the perks that he's running, but I'm pretty sure he's running ghost, right? I will also say something important to point. Oh, he's moving. Something else important to point out. He did pick out the Tommy gun as his primary, which I find very interesting in um, Warzone in particular. I have learned, especially recently with my last Warzone solos video, you can go watch that if you want. Um, that gun really is only good at a very, very, very close range. Like you gotta be hugging somebody for it to be viable. I feel like if you're going to be running a class like this, I feel like an AR is probably a bit better to use. Um, but hey, I don't play this play style. So today's a learning experience, you know? Or maybe instead of the Tommy gun, maybe an MP40 would be really nice too. He seems to like to um, travel a lot of ground on foot. I feel like the MP40 is really good at uh, close range, mid range, not necessarily long range, um, unless you're really good with it. But I feel like an MP40 is very balanced. There seems to be a truck rolling up here. Will the truck see him? Let's find out. I'm excited. Is he going to... He's gonna take, oh, he's gonna take shelter in a bush. Is he gonna see him? <gasps> oh, that's close. That's, that is too close for comfort. He's out. All right, I want to know what happens here. Uh-oh. He got him. Oh, no. I don't know why I'm saying, oh, no. I'm happy for him. He got the kill. He's gonna stim shot to run around in a circle in celebration, I guess. <laughs> Oh, he put C4 under there. Okay. I thought he was going to, you know, drive it up to somebody and then hop out and then trigger the C4 and absolutely ruin somebody's day. That happened to me. <laughs> that happened to me in Verdansk and I literally had no idea how to react. Should I put it in the clip? I'll, I'll go ahead and do that really quick. It was fantastic. And when I say fantastic, I mean actually fantastic. It was really funny. Uh, he seems to have found a new bush. Please enjoy the new bush. Why did I say that? Edit that out. That's weird. <laughs> he decided that he just doesn't want the car to exist anymore. He decided to absolutely blow it up. Uh, nobody was in the car or anything, so I'm a little confused. Uh, he seems to be diving down. He seems to have pained a certain location. Um, is he going to be camping in a different bush? Is he going to be um, looking out for other people? I'm not too sure what's going on. 
He seems to have found that. Nope, he does not like that bush. Um, he likes this bush. Okay, got it, got it. High octane, lots of action. This is what you guys wanted to see in, in a spectating Warzone solos video, right? I'm sorry. <laughs> He seems to have pinged somewhere else. Okay, he's just trying to move in with the uh, with the with the circle. I think that's a good idea. Obviously, <laughs> there was an enemy loadout that landed behind him, and I IRL turned my head a little bit. I said, Whoa. <laughs> "If I were him and I heard something behind me, I would have whipped my head so fast I would have gotten whiplash." As we can see here in his natural habitat, we have the bush camper. Actually, we all may call him a bush camper, but really he's just a nature fanatic. Look at all of the leaves. There seems to be a cluster coming in randomly. Um, interesting. Okay. He's gonna sit out. He's gonna blow another kiss. Don't know why. I guess he's blowing a kiss to the cluster. That's good. I will say it's actually quite smart for him to be in a bush, not moving whatsoever. Because even if you move slightly, even if you decide to turn just a little bit, sometimes people can see that very slight movement. It seems that the circle's closing in, so he's gonna be running in. I am excited. I wasn't expecting this guy to get to the very last circle. He seems to have found another bush that he likes. Um, hmm. It's not the best bush, but it'll do. It's gonna get hectic here in a little bit, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I'm hearing some bullets. I'm hearing some gunfire. Somebody died. <laughs> I'm gonna put down my coffee. I don't want to spill this. I'm locked in now. Top five? Let's go, dude. This is gonna be a very interesting rotation. Um, I think if he were smart, he would rotate through the house or around it. Okay, okay. Um, he does also have a gas mask, so he can make a gas mask play as he is doing right now. Um, let's see how this plays out for him. This is actually a very, very good rotation. Very good rotation. You're in the gas a little too much, though, I think. Um, I would... Okay, he's gonna sit in the... Okay, he's gonna sit in this this bush. Okay. Stim shots? Of course! I keep forgetting that. That's a very uh, viable equipment now. What a killer rotation. He did great on that. There goes my cat, by the way. <laughs> He's gonna drop the precision right in the middle where people are gonna be crossing. I hope it doesn't hit him. Oh, um, he doesn't have a gas mask, so I don't know how he's gonna... Oh, he does have Sim. Okay, he got it down. Okay, okay. Let's see how it plays out for him. He's dead. Well. And there's the last guy. He takes it all. Victory? Warzone victory? Victory. Okay. All right. I thought it would say Warzone victory, but I guess not. <laughs> Good game, y'all. That was fun. I'm not surprised. <laughs> we go again. Ultra base? Oh. Fuck you, man. What did I do? <laughs> did you know? So what did we learn that game? I guess there wasn't really much to learn. Um, I definitely got a lot of laughs out of it, which was really good. What a great way to start this uh, this video. Um, I'm hoping to land on somebody who is an extremely good and aggressive player. I really want to see uh, how they play this map. Um, yeah, but to be honest, watching Warzone solos is really good for me uh, just to learn where the final circles usually land. So I'm along for the ride. We go again, otra vez. I hit that, surprisingly. Hmm. Should I win these goos? Should I just die? Oh. What are you... What are you doing? What are you doing? I was gonna go peek, uh, hopefully to find a really good player, or somebody really aggressive, but I'm gonna go ahead and land here and die to somebody and see what happens. I say this and I'm... 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 Why am I doing this? I need to not be getting killed. <laughs> Mr. Plane! Right here! Come on! Yes! Yes! Dude, the plan was that you were gonna... Okay, all right, well, <laughs> what is going on today? I really don't know. Okay, the last lobby, I actually ended up dev airing and I lost a good bit of footage, so I'm so sorry. I didn't really spectate very much at all though, so uh, we're on to the next lobby, just letting you guys know. That last lobby was fascinating with the goo and the plane. I, I, I don't even know what to say. You know? <laughs> Would have been a great lobby to watch, but nonetheless, we got another one. Should I be winning these? I, I don't know. I would like to die to somebody on peak though, because I want to see how people who land peak uh, end up rotating out. Hello? Who are you? I'll, I'll sit still. You gotta hit your shots though. All right, I'm bored. Hello. Welcome to the party. Oh. I'd like for you to, to 
Yeah, could you? Could you? Okay. That works too. That works too. Right, let's go ahead and jump right into the spectating, shall we? Let's see who we're going to be spectating today. There seems to be something on the buy, but who are we spectating? Computer. Okay, computer. Interesting. <laughs> That's not who I died to, but okay. You are shooting that LMG from a long distance, and I commend you because that thing is not very accurate whatsoever. Okay, now we seem to be spectating somebody by the name of T-Bow. All right, I'm excited to see how this one plays out. He seems to have found somebody underneath the uh, bridge here. I suppose the bridge is a tunnel of some sort. Um, he seems to have a combat. He exploded. Oh, he, oh, I see. He picked up a gas can and he had shot the gas can and it killed him. Got it. So that's something to keep in mind if you guys are playing Warzone. If you pick up one of those gas canisters, somebody can shoot it while it's in your hands and it will <laughs> potentially one-shot you. I was wondering why he went poof. Tebow seems to have marked something on the map here. What'd you, what'd you get? What'd you get? I guess a car? Okay. Okay. We're just not going to pick up the money that we just ran by. That's totally fine. Who needs it? That could have been, you know, potentially, you know, 800 bucks to get a UAV, but he don't need it. Seems to be a plane flying over him. The planes, I gotta tell you, the planes are quite scary. <laughs> Uh, that, there was a dead body that just went flop. I have no idea where it came from. <laughs> I think there's a recon to his right there. I think so. I believe there's a recon going on in that tent right now. I saw him. He didn't. Oh, maybe he did. I think he did. No, he didn't. Okay. Sir, you're about to have a bad time. I'm um, just... Yeah, he was right. Okay. He seems to have thrown something at him. He doesn't care. He's just going to keep on running. He don't give a damn. He's in the tent. Sir, I really don't want to be that person, but I guess that is what this video is. The tent. Right, that's very good. You see him? Very good. Tebow seems to have found a corner that he finds very comfortable. All right, he's gonna post up here for a little bit. Uh, not too sure what the plan is. Oh, there seems to be a car rolling up. Let's see what happens here. I am, I am oh. on the buy, on the buy. Push him, push him, push him. The car seems to have driven away, which I find very interesting. I feel like if I were in a car and I saw two people fighting and one died, um, that's a potential opportunity to third party. Uh, free kills, you know? Tebow's gonna successfully parachute off of that hill. I gotta tell you, I have gone splat there before. So, nicely done, man. <laughs> Let's see what loadout we're rocking. Let's see. I'm curious. Okay. Is that the Cooper? And we got... Uh, double time. Was that Tracker? Do you have any Tracker? This dude has pinged a location where there seems to be some red dots. Um, I'm curious to see how he's going to push this, especially with having a uh, Cooper. Cooper seems to be really good uh, at a close range. Even though it's an AR, it's a very good um, close range AR. I've actually even heard that it's really good sniper support. So I should probably level it up and give it a go. We're going to crouch walk up to this little building here. We should, we should be quiet. We need to be quiet alongside Tebow. He's going to quietly go up the stairs. He's making his way. Hello? Nothing. Hmm. Where could he have gone? Oh. I almost dropped my coffee. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to put this down. Oh my goodness. The wall bangs. The wall bangs. Who even needs that one perk? Combat recon. This guy doesn't. Look at him. He don't need it. He's going to continue crash walking around to see if he can hear any footsteps or anything. Let's see how this plays out. I'm pretty sure the person ran away. I don't think they're here anymore. Um, So I'm curious if he actually... He is here. The tracker footsteps. Did you see that? He didn't apparently. Okay. You put on the... There seems to be another person. Okay. This is, this is of interest. You're going to push that? Let's go. It'd be great if you use a stem shot and stem slide. Just no, that works too. That totally works too. It seems to be perfectly dancing around him on this rock. What is going on? What? What did I just witness? What just happened? I'm so sorry, man. That's just. I really don't know what I'm even saying sorry for. I'm just confused. <laughs> now we're gonna be spectating step, and I gotta say, level 718. That is a lot of cod. He does seem to have a Vanguard sniper, which I am very curious about. I would love to see him hit a snipe. I would be ecstatic. This fire sale has also been going on for a while, but he does not seem interested in even getting a self or a UAV or anything. I guess probably because he's not close to any buys. I guess not. Well, there's one here. There's a plane too. Hmm. I must say, this dude definitely pushes corners and uh, areas very smart. Way smarter than I do. I just tend to headbutt things and hope for the best. <laughs> Big game bounty. All right, let's see how this plays out. If he gets this, he gets that advanced UAV, and that would be stellar. Oh. Uh-oh. Sir, I... Get the shot. He hit it, but it was low. It was low. That hit marker makes sense. Now that the big game bounty knows where he is, I don't think he's going to push him, which I think he should. I mean, why not? Grab the daddy and push. Come on. You know you want to do it. Come on. He's thinking about it. No, pick up the... No, no, no. 
This guy plays very cautiously. I can learn a thing or two from him. Deployable cut. Okay. 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 He seems to be abandoning the deployable cover and the big game bounty. He's going to go ahead and rotate in quite a bit. I think he's got a bit of a rotation to make. Not too bad, though. Not too bad. It's definitely a better idea for him to rotate in so that he can potentially hold his big game bounty. And also, you don't want to get held yourself, you know? Clean without love. Clean. Seems like he's going to be going for one of these um, heavy weapon caches or whatever they call them. I guess a supply crate of some sort. Uh, let's see what he gets. A Tommy gun. Okay. There is a launcher in there. Okay. Okay. Okay, he bought a UAV. He's going to go ahead and pop it to see uh, what's going on around him. I think it's a very good play. That building is exactly where I'd be looking to. Seems like this guy is going to be rotating in uh, to get into the zone. Um, let's see how it plays out for both of them, honestly, because they both have to rotate in. He's moving lower left. Okay, you're going to probably want to rotate in because he might hold you. He's going to move in just straight forward, head on, head first. Um, there was a person to your right, so he hasn't even looked right yet. Okay, that's a power move. So what did we learn? Look right. <laughs> we're spectating the plane? Is that who got him? I thought it was another player who got him. All right, it seems like we're gonna be spectating a plane now. He has 13 kills in a plane. I wonder if he's landed this thing and gotten any kills with a gun or if he's just been in the plane the whole time. I honestly don't know. I haven't seen a whole bunch of plane gameplay, but it seems like from what I've seen, people will dive straight up as high as they can go and then they'll dive bomb and they'll do a sweep and they'll go back up and kind of go again. Um, planes are actually relatively weak. It's just that they're so high up, they're hard to shoot down, you know? And also, they're just extremely good. <laughs> the, the aim lock on them is... Whoa, 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 God! I, oh, I didn't like that. He's gonna be shooting towards the loadout, which actually is a great play, because I don't know if uh, Ghost will prevent them from showing up on uh, for the plane's, like, automatic UAV. But shooting towards the loadout's a great idea with plane, because odds are there's probably somebody next to him. He is in the gas... He's out of the gas. Wow. He's going to crash the plane into him to get the finish. Wow, what a style play. I'm not even mad. That was cool. Uh, he's not going to go and pick up the loot or anything. He's going to go straight for his loadout, which I find very interesting considering he doesn't have any armor. I do not think that is a very smart play. But let's see how it works for him. He's going to be pushing towards his loady. I'm curious to see what his loadout is. Let's find out. What is your weapon of choice, sir? We got a Cooper. We got a Type 100. I've heard that's really good. Okay. Okay. He is posted up in this bush kind of a little bit out of the next zone so he can see if he can hold anybody. I think that's a decently good play. I also think it'd probably be a good idea to move in. He has seemed to have found somebody. Let's see how he pushes. Man, I didn't even see them, to be honest. Oh! <gasps> Oh, I knew I heard something to the right, but I thought it was maybe the gas or something. It was another player. And that player is in the gas, and he's down, but he could self. Oh my gosh, I need to see this play happen. Let's go, DJ. Come on, let's go. Let's go. I want to see you make this play. The play was not made. It said there were three other people. I am confusion, but victory. I get, that was a weird end. Okay. Uh, good game, y'all. That was fun. So what did we learn that game? I gotta say, um, I think doing spectating Warzone solos has been really good for me because I really notice how uh, passive a lot of players play. I tend to be very aggressive. I tend to headbutt things and not really think too much about it. Or I guess maybe not as much as other players, but I, I tend to, I stay on my feet and I keep moving. A lot of people don't in solos. And I think especially in Caldera, because there's so many bushes, there's so many places to hide. Um, I think that's something to keep in mind. I'm, I'm interested. This has been a very good learning experience and I've also had some really good laughs. So let's go ahead and watch one more. I'm always the first in the gulag, but no matter what, when in the goo, shock on a broom, you know? The question still stands. Should I be winning these views? I found somebody. Hello. Somebody just died here in the mines. Let's find out. Well, I found him, but I, I need to die, not not live. What am I doing? <laughs> Can't help it. I just want to play the game, man. Look, a car. Wait, wait, wait. Hello? Ah! I just helped him. I was, just, I was just trying to get his attention. Could you? Yeah, could you? 
Thank you. <laughs> I helped that guy get that. He wouldn't have. He wouldn't have won that if I didn't put one bullet into that guy. <laughs> Alrighty, time to spectate. This dude's name is Dad. All right, let's go, Dad. Dad, it's not looking good, man. I hate to break it to you. Oh, he's coming up on your left side. He heard that. Okay. He seems to be getting shot from somewhere else as well. That is another free kill for you, man. People are just handing you kills like it's your birthday. <laughs> He is continuing to get shot from the left side here. Um, I don't know if he's gonna make it out. And there he goes. There goes my hero. Watch him as he falls. So now we're watching potato salad. Okay. <laughs> it was the gas canister. So what did we learn this game, y'all? Gotta say, we're learning a lot about gas canisters. <laughs> I probably wouldn't uh, post up next to one because a stun, a flash, grenade, C4, cluster, precision could ruin your whole day. <laughs> Mako's going to be trying some parkour here. Let's see if it, uh, if it, can you actually parkour up here? Wait a minute. Did you find a spot? No. Okay. Good to know. He just clipped through the roof. All right. That was interesting. I wonder if he could see that too, or if we only saw that because we're spectating. This guy has pinged this by here, and uh, I assume he's going to push this and then push up to his loadout. Um, here's some loot. It's a cluster. Is he going to take it? He sure is. Now, there is somebody who landed back here, so I'm wondering... I don't have to wonder anymore, do I? He got him. <laughs> Seems like he's checking on the map here. He's going to ping around the loadout where I assume there is a red dot. Uh, that's going to be a really fun push. Um, I think if I were him, I'd probably rotate left and then head up towards that loadie. Um, by that point, maybe they won't be there anymore. Yep, I think this red dot right here is going to end up holding this guy, and I think this guy is going to hold this guy. And maybe even this guy is going to hold this guy. Who knows, man? There's a lot of potential for holding. He does seem to be heading up the left side, which I think is a good plan, great plan. Since the circle isn't closed all the way, I did- Yep, I was going to say, I think somebody's probably still here camping it. Um, so now he's on top of the tent here. A little third party action, okay. You broke- you broke his armor. You could hop in. You could probably get him. Stunned, Okay. Honestly, I would hop down and I would ego chow that. Just because you have full armor, you have a lot of health, you should be good to go. He's probably, like, two-shot. He's armoring up as we speak. You're gonna get held from the hill. Yeah, mm-hmm. Kinda knew that was gonna happen. Man. Man. So what did we learn after that altercation? Um, if you break somebody, honestly, it's probably a good time to push. Gotta say. Now we're gonna be watching Star Lord. Love that name. I love stars. Not because of my G Fuel flavor starfruit or anything. <laughs> this dude has a sniper. I hope he snipes this person on the hill. Come on. Dude, okay. You can't really see them because of the sun. I didn't know the sun was this bad uh, heading up from mines. Hmm. I wonder how he's gonna push out of this. Um. Is he gonna work for him? I know the cars go pretty slow up the hill. Is he gonna make it out? I am surprised right now. I am very surprised. He's gonna continue the rotation um, up the mountain. I think I think he's gonna make it out okay. I gotta say, I am extremely surprised that he survived that. He was one shot. He does have 10k in his pocket, so I think he's probably gonna head to this buy. Maybe get a little UAV. He's still getting shot from behind, man. That person is just, they're on a mission. They have you, they have you in their sights. Oh, please, you saw him. He's to your left, he's to your left. Nope, that's gas. I make the same mistake too. Up the hill there? Yep, please snipe him. Do it, do it. Oh, but it should have done more damage. That's so sad. Is he on top of the rock? Oh, oh. I have no idea who shot him. I think it would be a really good buy is some armor and a UAV and then maybe a cluster. I think that would be fantastic. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No armor? Okay. Who needs it, right? I'd recommend the armor because obviously you need more armor. Duh. But I also recommend a cluster in case somebody tries to pin you down while you're making this rotation. Um, you can cluster them and you can uh, change their position so you can rotate out in a better, uh, better direction. A little third party here? Okay. Welcome to Warzone. It's the name of the game. Actually, it's... Probably a good idea that he didn't buy any armor. He saved a little bit of money there. He sees some red dots. He's going to whip around and red dot chase. Relatable. There seems to be a car up here. I wonder what's going to happen here. Is the car going to try and drive into him? Um, let's find out. He only has a throwing knife. Not sure how he's going to challenge this. 
or what the car's even doing. Welcome to Warzone. Another little third party. If you can find him, where is he? I saw him to the right, yeah. There he is. Yep, running. Yep. Snipe him. Oh, dude, it's free. Absolutely free. So now we're spectating ravens. All right, let's see what happens. <laughs> All right. I was not expecting to witness such tomfoolery spectating Warzone solos. <laughs> Top 10. Let's see how this guy plays it. God, that car is loud. <laughs> Gotta say, there's not much going on. He's just driving this truck around, which that's a play. This guy has officially made it into the top five. He keeps driving this thing and it is so loud in my ears. I'm sick of it. Okay. Oh my gosh, do it. Never mind. <laughs> This dude is just full charging him. Okay, I'm curious as to how this is gonna play out. He's gonna throw out all of his equipment on him. He's gonna take the cart. <laughs> that's the way of the road, man. Oh, that's good. Victory? No victory, okay. Good game, y'all. That was fun. GG's. You really like that car, don't you? <laughs> Yeah, man, I was having way too much fun in that thing. See, I was watching you the whole drive, time. <laughs> it was either drive around in there and play semi-aggro or just get beamed in the open fields. So <laughs> It's a weird final circle, I'll give you that. Have a good night, man. Yeah, uh, you too. Thank you. Wholesome content. I think that's all I'm going to do for tonight. So what did we learn that game? <laughs> Honestly, I'm not too sure. I feel like the vehicles for uh, Vanguard Royale are not as viable as Berthas and Rovers and Quads and Helicopters. Um, at least not in the final circle, I suppose. Um, the collision's just kind of weird. Um, maybe they have more health. Maybe they don't. I'm not too sure. Um, yeah. And they're also very loud. <laughs> Bertha could never, you know? But I am happy that we got to talk to somebody who was really nice. So that's always good. But I think that's everything I want to go ahead and do for today's video. Did you guys like this video? Uh, feel free to comment down below and let me know. Or maybe drop a like on the video. Um, this is my first time doing a Spectating Warzone Solos video. So I had a really, really good time. This is fun. I could sit back, relax, drink my coffee, and watch people all day. It's a good time. Speaking of drinking, I totally forgot to mention this entire video. Drink some water. Yeah, I haven't even been drinking any water while uh, recording this video. That's pretty bad. I filled this up for this recording in particular. I haven't taken a sip yet. Lovely. I think that's all I've got. Like, comment, please subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video, whatever I make. Bye bye. Bye bye. That was fun. You know, I like wearing glasses while I'm recording. I, I wear them all the time while editing, but it's this glare that I don't like, you know? See, now you can actually see my facial expressions, you know? I also have the little indent on my nose because, you know, glasses. That, that, that'll happen when you wear glasses. Um, yeah, but these are my designated Warzone Solos glasses. <laughs> While I'm sitting here studying people and their play styles and war zone solos, I will wear the glasses. I don't know why it helps. Have a great day or night, whatever time it is for you. That's all I've got. I'm going to drink my coffee. I have one sip left. Okay, bye.